Okay, good day, uh, lovely people. This is Jackson from Jackson RC Aviation. We are looking at the Dynam Sea Wind plane. What we are using is the DX18. So what we're going to try to do is try to figure out something here. We do the detonation to plug the battery in. Okay. Now what I've been trying to figure out something here. Well, not worried about that. Anyway, this little different video that we've been doing. We've been trying to figure this thing out. Of course, we got a uh, a spectrum. Uh, AR400 in here as you can see and um, this thing it's got some issues but what it's got the Skylord um, thing here now what I'm trying to show here is go ahead and hit the uh, elevator See that? See that little teeny thin uh, control uh, rod there? And the control thing runs all the way up this whole back here, up where the motor's at, all the way back to the elevator. Now, do you see the elevator doing anything? No. And in order for this thing to actually get up in the air, probably going to have to take this thing. My damn, my hand is so big. But you can see that that little thin uh, wiring system they have in there, just they, it's just not going to work. And uh, let me go around here a little bit. Now you look back here, you see this little ball link? Uh, that little wire runs from the back of this elevator all the way up to the front. And I can tell you right now, I done tried everything on this damn yeah. thing. Yeah, it moves, but it don't move. It's not doing anything. See the elevator? Okay. It's not doing anything. It so, try the L run. They move. The motor moves a little bit. Get a little bit. Just. Anyway. But try that one right there. So my big concern right now is this rod. And I hope Diamond Dynam will change that ride, otherwise I'm going to have to find a way. I'd have to tear this whole thing apart just to get it up to where it needs to go, you know. But I wanted to show you because we show you everything here of what, because if you can't get the elevator to get off the ground, you're not going anywhere. You might as well be riding around a damn car. So, that's where we're at with the Dynam Sea Wind. I hope they come up with a better solution. But for now, this thing is not flying. And uh, that's where we're at. So for you guys that watch our channel, we usually fly. But as I can tell you right now, this thing is not flying right now until we figure out what the solution is going to be and how I can get all the way back. I, I already uh, worked on the elevator to try to get that to even do anything. And like I say, keep, hit that again for me, buddy. The elevator. Okay. See how that thing bends all up in there? 
that thing is so brittle, so thin, if you do get up in the air, I guarantee you it's going to crash. Check the uh, rudder for me. Rudder. The rudder. Anyway. But like I was showing you in the back here, I'll lift it up. You can see that they need to get away from, from these uh, little ball lane things and get with clevises that hook the clevises and get a stronger material so that way you don't have a problem. But uh, like I say, this is the first time I've had a plane like this. And uh, of course, this is, uh, I think, Big Hobby, but this was a, uh, a unit that was. Uh, bought back and uh, we're trying to fly it and try to figure it out so until we figure this part out we are grounded so this again this is Jackson with Jackson RC Aviation we do like the Dynam products and we hopefully uh, the beginners will uh, look for a seaplane that will suit them well and uh, you can also look at the rest of our other videos, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please hit the bell so that way you see everything we're going to show you. So until next time, we will talk to you soon.